And now, your prayer intentions with author Peter and Jimmy. Hello and welcome again to Your Prayer Intentions. We're very happy to spend the next half hour praying with you and speaking with you and the like about your prayer intentions. We've got several announcements that we want to make, some of which we've, you've heard before, some of which are new. And I want to remind you before we do these announcements that if you have an event coming up that you want us to promote, you can uh, email us. Email at us at wqph893 at comcast.net. That's wqph893 at comcast.net. Put down community calendar in the uh, subject line, and you can send us the information about your Catholic event, and we'll be happy to promote it once we confirm that it's properly Catholic and so forth. I mentioned Radio WQPH. That is our Twitter handle. So if you want, you can always tweet us about an event, and uh, the person running our Twitter feed can get back to you and try and get information about your event. So if you have an event coming up and you want to promote it, let us know, and we're happy to do it. And I want to throw a couple of announcements at you. On June 12th, again, this we have announced this a couple of weeks ago. We're going to keep announcing it. At 12 noon, there's going to be a rosary rally for the Sacred Heart of Jesus at St. Bernard's Parish at St. Camilla's Church. That's on Mechanic Street in Fitchburg. It's going to be in front of Our Lady statue, although if there's bad rain and the like, they'll probably move it to the hall. Uh, the people to contact about that are Roland Valley at 978-343-4927 or Joyce Aucoin at 978-345-0129. And it's a great event to have because, you know, you can always turn to the Sacred Heart of Jesus for help no matter what the troubles are, whether they're personal, whether they're social, especially in times like we're having now. So, I mean, it's a great thing to do. We can look for solace and trust our worries or problems to our Lord. All things are possible with God, as he reminds us in Scripture. So, come on down. That's going to be, again, Saturday, June 12th at noon. Public rally. It's honoring the Feast of Our Day of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And it's going to be a rosary. So, always a worthwhile thing to do. And even better, the mask mandate should be done by then. So, another great reason to go. Speaking of events that are coming up. Uh, WQPH is putting together a pilgrimage. This is from Catholic Footprints. The pilgrimage to St. Joseph's Shrine in Sterling, New Jersey. Sister Lucia's letter to Cardinal Capera. A, quote, a time will come when decisive battle between the kingdom of Christ and Satan will be over marriage and family. It's going to be July 17th. It's a one-day trip. It's the pickup's going to be at 5 a.m. And it's going to pick up and drop up location. is going to be at Mystic Valley Parkway parking lot, which is behind St. Joseph's Church in Medford, Massachusetts. If you want more info about this event, uh, you can email cfootprints at comcast.net. That's cfootprints at comcast.net. Uh, you can also go to their website at cfootprints, exactly the letter C, and then footprints.org. It's called Catholic Footprints. The chaplain for the event is going to be Father... Jose Maria Babin. So it's definitely something you're going to want to check out. And again, that's July 17th, 2021. It's $90 a person. And it's going to be the pilgrimage to the St. Joseph Shrine in Sterling, New Jersey for the year of St. Joseph, which makes perfect sense to me. Now, I must, I regret, I'm not going to be able to go myself. But still worthwhile for you to get yourself down there. I do not have a drop-dead date on when you have to reserve your spot by. be a good idea to contact them soon. Again, the number is 508-525-6797. The email address is cfootprints at comcast.net. That's cfootprints at comcast.net. And the final announcement is something I've been talking about the last couple of weeks. Uh, the June indulgence calendars... If they are not up at the site by June 1st, they should be there by next week's show at the very latest. We hope they should be up by June 1st so for you to download them. Uh, and if you will have names that you want included in the July indulgence calendars, uh, just email us again at wqph893 at comcast.net. That's wqph893 at comcast.net. I'll be very happy to include 
the people you wish us to include in the indulgence calendars. And, of course, we also are going to have a blank calendar every month that you can download and fill in the names yourself. And plus, plenty of you are probably earning or able to earn more than one indulgence a day. If you go to Daily Mass, you're probably the person who's earning more than one indulgence a day and may not know it. So don't forget to check the back of that sheet for the list of prayers that provide an indulgence. And remember, very important thing about indulgences, you have to declare your intent to get that indulgence in order to get it. You can't If you do the prayer and you don't say, I want this indulgence for me or I want this indulgence for the deceased person who cannot get an indulgence on their own, that doesn't fly. You have to state your desire to get the indulgence. So make it a point to get those indulgences because this is a spiritual work of mercy. And you want to do those spiritual works of mercy. Spiritual works of mercy are great things to do. And of course, let's not forget what it says in the book of Sirach, which if you've been going to daily mass this week, we've been getting our first readings from. Be generous to all the living and withhold not your kindness from the dead. That's Sirach chapter 7, verse 33, and that's very good advice. Very good advice indeed. Well, now that we've got all of that taken care of, let's get to some prayer intentions that we have. Of course, we have our standing prayer intentions, standing prayer requests for Mary Lotz, a standing prayer request for Nancy, who listens to us every week, and we're very glad that you're listening, Nancy. A standing prayer request for the donors of WQPH. And, of course, we remind you that if you want to be a donor to WQPH, go to WQPHradio.org, click on Donate, one-time donation, a monthly donation, all of that helps keep the lights on over here and helps keep things going. And of course, please pray for us. If, you can't, if you're not in a position to kick in a few dollars, that's fine. If you can pray for us, that is just as good, if not better, to some degree. Because without the prayers, if God isn't the lead, things aren't going to follow through. You always want, want to have God as, as your lead over there. And of course, we also have the standing prayer requests for the intentions of the Dominican Sisters of St. Cecilia and for the local parishes and also for all the stations that carry us. And we're going to mention right off for all those who have requested for conversions within their family. It's still the most popular request. We get more requests for conversions, prayers for conversions than anything else. People pray for people to be converted. And like I say, it's worth praying for. It's worth taking. And God works in his own time. So do not, if you're praying for conversions and stuff, remember, the, as long as that repentance takes place before the hour of death, you're doing, you're doing all right. That is what it's all about. But now let's get to some of the prayer requests from our website. And I re- want to remind you again that I mentioned the WQPH website, wqphradio.org, that we also have the prayer wall there, which is a great Great thing because not only can you put up prayer requests for us to pray for here on the show, but other people can see those prayer requests and put in replies showing their prayers for your requests, which is a great thing. You, it's, it's, not, it's very comforting to know, at least I find it comforting to know, that people are praying for our prayer requests. It, it, I, it makes a difference to me. It makes a difference to me. And... I'm sure it makes a difference to you as well. When you know people are praying for you, it just makes life easier. It just makes life easier. I always found that it made it easier for me when people, when I know that people are praying for me. It just helps a lot. So again, let's get to the prayer requests off of the WQPH radio or prayer wall. Before we do, actually, before we do that, just wanna we have a new prayer request that literally just came in. I mean, literally, it just came in in the time that I've been getting ready to record this. We have a prayer request for a person's aunt who has been hospitalized. I'm going to throw that on the prayer wall as well. Just to show you how simple it is, go to the prayer wall. I've already entered the code for a hospitalized S. P-I-T-A-L-I-Z-E-D-A-U-N-T. 
and I'm holding a, my microphone in one hand instead of having it set up, which is why I'm typing with one hand and one finger there, in case you were wondering why I'm saying those things that way. And remember also, when you're doing a prayer request, if you have a private prayer request that you do not want to give details, just put private request. Happy to pray for private requests, because it's not really our business if you don't want it to be our business, or anyone's business. So again, we have the prayer request for the hospitalized aunt. We have a prayer request for a newly married couple. Always great things with new, newly married couples. We have a prayer request for Pam, who is still gravely ill. So we had that request from last week. We have a request for Lubicia, who is uh, suffering from cancer. Prayer request for Mark Sumla, his wife and his family. We have another prayer request for a family that just lost its matriarch last week. We have a prayer request for Lisa, who is suffering from migraines. That's requested by Ripley. We have a prayer request for the soul of Father Andrew Garapi, who recently died. And a prayer request for a single mother whose sons are going to college. And, you know, it's it's a great thing when someone, you know, works hard, you know, this person, single mother, manages to get their kids into college and so forth. And that really says something. Now, I know Mother's Day has already passed, but what would we do without our mother? In fact, last uh, week, this week, we we had the uh, feast of a Mary Mother of the Church. That's a great feast day. That's a great feast day. It's a fairly new one. Just a great feast day because we turn to Mary to help lead us to her son, Jesus. And as she is Christ's mother, who was there for Christ... She is our mother to help us in our time of need. And when we turn to Mary, we will not be disappointed. I'll tell you that right now. You turn to Mary, you will not be disappointed. Remember the words of the Memorare. And okay, I have a couple more requests here. We have a prayer request for the Miller family. We have a prayer request for Todd Rowe and his family. We have a prayer request for the parishioners of St. Joseph's Parish in Fitchburg. Which we just talked about St. Joseph in general, so that's not bad. And a prayer request for Sue and Kevin Gagney. So Sue and Kevin Gagney, a prayer request there. So those are our prayer requests. And as I said, if you want to get your prayer requests into us, wqphradio.org or email us at wqph893 at comcast.net. That's wqph893 at comcast.net and just put in the subject line prayer request and if you have multiple things you need a prayer request uh, something you want for our community calendar and so forth just put multiple things in the subject line we are going to be happy to pray for them now because this we just had the feast of uh, Mary as the mother of the church I think it is very appropriate that today we do the rosary of the visitation. Mary acknowledged as the mother other of God by Elizabeth. That's a great decade of the rosary and let's pray that. So let's do that prayer as we do all of our prayers. Let me grab my rosary over here. I have a nice rosary that my boys bought me. I have a tendency of wearing out rosaries and this one's a heavy metal. It's made by a company called Rugged Rosaries and we're not doing an endorsement so to speak but This thing does stand up to time. It's fairly heavy, so it's hard for me to lose, which is even better. But the best part, it was given to me by my sons. So let's pray. Let's add my sons to the prayer list. I'm I'm very pleased with my sons. And God has blessed me in in terms of my sons and my wife. So let me also offer a prayer of thanksgiving for my wife and sons. And we should always remember to do prayers of thanksgiving. Because sometimes we do not realize how much God has given us. And how many times God has steered us away from trouble. And the difference between... Sometimes the difference between life and death, between good and bad, can be those rosaries, can be those prayers, that little intervention that God gives versus someone who doesn't have that intervention. You never know what that difference could be. But we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And before we begin, I want to mention, go further. I want the uh, indulgence, or any indulgence we earn from these prayers today, 
let's give that indulgence to Father Andre Garapi, who we had the prayer request for. That's a, I think that's a good thing. The second joyful mystery is the visitation we offer the Lord Jesus to the second decade. On our visitation of our Holy Mother to her cousin St. Elizabeth and the sanctification of St. John the Baptist. And we ask of thee through this mystery and through the ascension of thy Holy Mother, charity towards our neighbor. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now with the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now with the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now with the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now is the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now is the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now is the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. May the grace and mystery of the visitation come down to our souls. Amen. Now we offer these prayers for uh, the intentions of the Holy Father and the intentions of the Pope Emeritus. And we offer them right now because they also qualify. That qualifies us for the indulgences. We have to pray for the intentions of the Holy Father and Pope Emeritus for any indulgence that we're getting. We'll do on Our Father and a Hail Mary. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, and now at the hour of our death. Amen. And now a special prayer, the indulgence that we will get for this special prayer. But for all of those intentions, for those of you who are listening, who did not get a chance to send us their intention, we will pray the St. Michael prayer for us all. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust and tell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. And we pray this as we pray everything. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now I notice that we don't have enough time left to throw in one of my interviews. We'll try and get an interview in next week. I know we've been without him for a couple of weeks. But I do want to talk about something. As we just finished the Feast of Pentecost and back into ordinary time. But I mentioned the Feast of Mary, Mother of the Church. And how appropriate is it that the Feast of Mary, our Mother of the Church, is the day after Pentecost Sunday, the coming of the Holy Spirit? Because... Who is more imbued with the Holy Spirit than Mary? She conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and thus had the Holy Spirit in her from the start. When Elizabeth, we just prayed the um, decade of the visitation, when Elizabeth saw her, the baby, John the Baptist, leaped for joy, and, 
and Elizabeth is filled with the Holy Spirit. And it mentions John, you know, filled with the Spirit of God. Again, the Holy Spirit, Mary triggering the Holy Spirit. Mary is there at Pentecost. Mary is there at the foot of the cross. Mary is there at the significant events of Christ's life. Mary is there. And again, mother of the Christ, mother of the church. And that's what a mother does. A mother is there. I remember one of the best speeches I ever heard was by Chris Christie. He was campaigning in New Hampshire for a Republican who ends up losing. And he talked about how you want to keep your... He was talking in terms of taxes and the like, but he was talking about how you want to be there. You want your children to be where you are so that you can be there for those birthday parties and for those games because that's the thing that life is made of, those little events. And Mary was there for the events in Jesus' life. There for the birth, there for the circumcision, there for the, well, obviously for the birth, there for uh, the crucifixion, there at Pentecost, probably even there at the Last Supper because you're having your Passover. Someone's making the Passover. People are preparing it there. I, she's not mentioned in the speech, but I would be shocked if she was not there. But again, and that's, again, Mary and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit and Mary. As our mother, mother, being mother to Christ and being mother to the church. What a great idea for a feast. What a great, this was a very great move. This new feast, the feast of Mary, mother of the church. And let us take it to heart. Well, now it's time for our closing prayer. And let's do that right now in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God of mercy, as we reach out to those seeking you, send forth your Holy Spirit upon this radio station, upon this show, and upon all the people listening and all those stations and websites that are carrying our show to renew us in faith. Enable us to share the good news of the gospel with loving words and caring deeds so that those who have drifted away may be drawn to your church and follow the way of your son Jesus who is the way, the truth, and the light. We make our prayer through Jesus our Lord. Amen. And we pray this in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We still got about a minute and a half left before we go. So I do want to remind you, I've mentioned the WQPH website a couple of times and how there are podcasts available on the website, some of our past shows. So if you ever miss, if you ever miss the show, if you click on our show at WQPH Radio, you'll see there'll be recordings of the shows. And of course, there's great shows on WQPH. There's Do No Harm with Dr. Mark Rollo every Sunday at 11 a.m. and 11 p.m. There's Benedict's Hammer Sunday at midnight from the housetops, 10.30 a.m. and 4 p.m. on Sunday. So a lot, lot going on on Sundays. Of course, here on Saturday, which is when you're listening to this show, Local Matters, at 11 o'clock. Right after that is the 13th Apostle, which precedes our show. And then Talk Catholic, so don't turn that dial. You're going to want to catch Talk Catholic right after our show here. A lot going on here. Please take advantage of our site. Please take advantage of our shows because it's all there to help you get your soul closer to Christ. That's what it's all about for us. Even the indulgence candle we're talking about. It's all about help people through in purgatory and help ourselves by a corporal work of mercy. It's all about the souls, which is where we need to be. And well, until next time, I want to thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next week on Your Prayer Intentions. God bless all. This is Peter and Jemmy, host of Your Prayer Intentions, every Saturday here on 89.3 WQPH Shirley Fitchburg. Do you have a prayer request that you'd like me to pray for or perhaps the whole community? Well, include that prayer request in an email. Specify if you want it on air or off and email that prayer request to WQPH893 at Comcast.net. Let me repeat that. It's WQPH893 at Comcast.net. And we will pray for you. If you have an urgent request that you're looking for immediate prayer, tweet me directly at the Tech Guy blog on Twitter or the Tech Guy blog on Gab. God bless you.